Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to combine the powers of an alert in SharePoint with an inbox rule in Outlook to manage your information flow. So first of all, I've created an alert in Outlook. I've already created that one. So when items change in this departments list, I get an email on that and I get them immediately. Then I'm going to go into Outlook, and here are my emails that I get. Now I want to sort those into folders. So I'm going to create a new folder, just pressing plus there, call that departments. And as you see, that gets created here at the bottom here of my folders list, and it's also in my favorites. So that's perfect. Now I'm going to create the rule, and select one of those notification emails there, and create a rule based on that. The rule that I want is that it's re received from the site. That's fine. It was sent to me. That's, I can actually remove that um, line there. And then includes uh, these words, the department south. That's not correct. I want all of the departments to be managed by this rule. Just press enter there. And OK. And then I'll save that. So now all the messages that includes the word departments and are from the My Team site will be managed by this rule. You can change the name of it also. Move, move Department Alerts is a good name for this alert. So we'll move this to the folder and uh, select the folder that I want. Move message to the folder. There we go. And the one I want is, of course, the department. And that's it. Let's press OK. And now I'll just move these two into the department folder and delete that one and then I'll go into the site and uh, make a change here. I will actually do a cu couple of them. Let's set all these three as active so that will of course give me three alerts being sent and very soon all those three alerts should make it into my departments folder here. So let's see what's happening. Let's go into the departments now there are two emails there, and very soon we'll see five emails there. And there they are, the three new ones that have been changed, the west, east, and the north. And they're all placed in this folder as I wanted them to. So there we have the, the power of the combination of a SharePoint alert and an inbox rule in Outlook. Thank you for watching this demonstration.